on 120 Minutes. Daniel, first it was Bauhaus, then it was Tones on Tail, then Love and Rockets, and now Solo. Now, David J of Love and Rockets has already had, what, three solo albums out? Why did you decide to make one? Uh, I thought it was the right time uh, before this. I did, uh, you know, I mean, really, in a way, Tones on Tail could have been considered that in as much as I think this is a continuation of that sort of sound and the whole thing. But um, I don't know, I felt com comfortable doing it now. How does that work for you? Do you have so much more freedom to do whatever you want? Did you feel constrained by Love and Rockets? Uh, well, I think it is the case that when you're, when you're in a band setup, there's always a degree of compromise, which um, is no longer there with this particular setup. I mean, it's, you know, like you make all the decisions, good or bad. So, you know, that sort of extra pressure was hard at first, but it was a good thing, you know. I'm glad I actually went through with it and recorded this record, so. No compromise. Now, the album's called Coming Down, and who produced it? Uh, well, I worked with uh, various studios. There was John Fryer and John Rivers and a couple of other things that were just like little studios on the side, little eight or 16 track places. And um, so it's a sort of mixture of two or three different places. Uh, but when I was working with John Fryer, it was a co-production with him, or John Rivers, it was a co-production with him. So, and uh, there you go. And Kevin Haskins uh, shows up. Kevin Haskins, right yes. Good old Trevor. Yeah. Kevin Haskins, yeah, helped me out a lot on the drums, drum programming, real drums, and little keyboard overdubs and things like that. Who else did you work with? What other musicians did you use? Uh, well, I use a girl, the girl that's on the album that's doing a lot of the vocals as well. So it's like a duo, a lot of the stuff. It's, uh, she's called Natasha Atlas, who was a friend of mine from about 10 years back. I met her about 10 years ago. And she, she, you know, she lives in Northampton as well. So uh, that was the sort of theme, actually, the way it worked out. That's, it was, uh, I like the way our voices sounding together. You know, there was some sort of chemistry there. So. All right, well, let's check out the first video from Coming Down. This is Daniel Ash with This Love. Radio's playing, I was knocked out on the floor. Staring at the floorboard, she kicked me to the floor. I said to myself, this ain't no way to have fun Then she looked me in the eye and said, your life has just begun Now I want some water, not some whiskey I want some water in this cup Don't tell me of your fortunes and wish me the best of luck I've seen that face before in a million magazines All beauty on the outside and the inside's just as clean Then she said, love This is not enough Then she said, love Now it's terrifying. 
That's Daniel Ash with This Love. Daniel, where did you shoot that clip? What, This Love? Yeah. Why? No, where? Oh, where? where was oh, it was in my house. Yeah, it, it was? was? In my house, yeah. Is that so the same? Up in the bell tower in the top room. Because it looks similar yeah. to another, to a Love and Rockets video. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the same guy that actually, the director was a guy called Mitch Jenkins, who he did a couple of Love and Rockets videos, I think, uh... Uh, the Light and uh, Mirror People are two that come to mind. And looking at that compilation of all the, you know, sort of videos that Love and Rockets did, I thought they had the most sort of, the best feel to them, the most credible videos, you know. Okay, well, your new album is called Coming Down. We're going to talk more about that in the second 60 of 120 Minutes. <laughs> of 120 minutes. Daniel Ash is here. I'll be talking more with him in just a few minutes. Also on the way, the record release rundown and alternative music videos from Liquid Jesus, Chickasaw, Mud Puppies, The Connells, The Sisters of Mercy, Enigma, The Charlatans UK, In Spiral Carpets, and lots, lots more. Let's kick off with a world premiere video from Sonic Youth. It's the third cooler than cool clip from the Youth's sixth album, Goo, and it's called Dirty Boots. Stupendous, this Valentine's Day card. Daniel, you did send this to me personally, right? I'd hate to think it was just like a mass-produced record company. No, no, no. It, in actual fact, that is the only one that is made. I made that myself in my bedroom. Okay, well, thank you. I shall yeah. treasure it always. Okay. Now, your new album is called Coming Down. Is it a different musical direction for you from the Love and Rockets records? Not really, no. I think it's just a continuation of making music. Uh, the only thing is, as I said before, if you're in like a band setup, there's always that compromise and you've got some, a couple of other people in the band that want to go in their direction. Whereas with this one, it's like focused on one area, I suppose, of that band, you know. Um, no, I see it more as just a continuation of making music with a different... I think the main, uh, the main difference is working with Natasha because of, you know, the female vocal which is there with mine, you know, which, make, which gives it a totally different flavour. I think that's the main different ingredient, if you like. Now, there's some cover versions on uh, the record. A great version of the Beatles' Day Tripper, done in your inimitable, kind of minimalist, psychedelic style. Um, and two other covers, too. What, what made you pick these, these oldies? Well, originally, the, the album was going to be an album of cover versions anyway, because... Oh, I, yeah? Yeah, I didn't have any songs, basically. <laughs> because we've been working together as a band for five years and I, I was completely dry as far as songwriting is concerned, you know, I just had nothing left inside. Mm, you know, it was been on the road for too long and all the rock and roll cliches that you can think of. So, um, you know, at first I thought, well, I can't do nothing, you know, it's, I've got to do something. So I thought if I did cover versions, it would give me a break from actually writing the words because that for me is not too easy. It, it, you know, the musical side is okay, but 
writing words is uh, more of a challenge for me, if you like. In other words, I'm not very good at it, and it takes me a bit of time to do it. But then when you didn't so, feel like you had to write songs, then yeah, it was well, easier. Then I could, yeah, then I could just, like, um, I could just concentrate on producing and doing somebody else's song in my own way, which for me was a break to do that. But then after a couple of songs, you know, it, I got a bit bored with that, and I sort of fell back in love with rock and roll, if you like, and the whole thing, you know. So um, got on to uh, writing my own stuff again. And, you know, this is the result. Are you going out on tour for this record? Uh, no, not at the moment. Um, How about... Basically, I haven't got enough songs, you know. I need to do another album, so I've got enough songs in order to have a pool of songs to pick from in order to do a proper tour. Otherwise, it's just going to be about 12 songs, which isn't really an hour. So, you know, I need an hour's worth. So, I'll, you know, give it another... Give me another year and then I'll hopefully be able to go out. I've got, I've got very specific, specific ideas on what I want to do. I want to do sort of an anti-heavy metal tour, really. Don't like heavy metal music. What about another Love and Rockets record? What about it? Is there going to be another one soon? I don't know, it depends on you. Do you want me to do one? I think Should so. Do one? Should, Should Daniel think? do another one? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll give it a go after it. We need another year. I was talking to David the other night and we just said, let's have another year after because he's in the middle of doing something as well. And I want to do another record like this and Kevin's involved in soundtrack mu music for films. So probably in about 18 months in reality. That's a while. Thanks for coming by. Right. Thank you. Good luck. And uh, let's play a Love and Rockets video. You, any right. particular one you want to see? Um, let me think. Uh, Mirror People, maybe? Okay. Here's Love and Rockets with Mirror People. Ha, <laughs> Nothing at all. 